I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program I have recently installed, this error arrived. The program can start because xaudio2 underscore 7 dot dll is missing from your computer. It's a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video without skipping and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for xaudio2 underscore 7 dot dll. You can choose any result you want. In this case, I will be choosing the first one. It's not sponsored, but I will put the link in the description. You can see few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is a 64-bit PC and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So in this case, I will be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has other fixing method also in case if you need this. As the download complete, hit open. Inside the downloaded zip file, you can see the DLL file. To move the DLL, first open this PC. Then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. Then click on the downloaded zip, drag the DLL, and drop. I've already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give the administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check. By typing the entire file name, you can see the file is placed in the folder right now. So job is done for 32-bit users, you can go and restart your computer. If you are a 64-bit user, you can need to do a little more. Open this PC one more time. Then new volume C. Windows. And this time find a folder name syswow64. This is the home of 64-bit DLL files. And similarly drag and drop. In short, 64-bit users need to place the file in both 32-bit folder and 64-bit folder. Check this one more time. Yeah, you can see the file is placed in 64-bit folder, so job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are developers, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft Shell website and install your program again, and that will surely fix your problem. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.